Hello guys, this is Joel Silompero. For today's video, we're going to talk about the prevention of youth suicide. Many of you might ask what is suicide? Suicide means ending your own life. It is sometimes a way for people to escape pain or suffering. When someone ends their own life, we say that they died by suicide. A suicide attempt means that someone tried to end their life but did not die. Suicide refers to when a person intentionally ends their own life. Someone's people use the term commit suicide. To describe this, however, the word commit implies criminality, which can reinforce harmful stigma. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, suicide is more prevalent among certain groups. This includes people who are age 15 to 24 years old, people who are age 60 years old, have a mental health or substance abuse disorder, have a family history of mental health, or have experienced family violence or abuse, such as physical, sexual, or psychological abuse, people that have a severe chronic illness or have access to firearms or other weapons. Males are more likely to die by suicide than females. However, females are more likely to attempt suicide. Attempted suicide occurs when a person tries to end their life but does not die as a result of their actions. This may be due to a difference in preferred methods. According to the NIMH, National Institute of Mental Health, for the example, males are more likely to use lethal methods that are difficult to treat. Mental health conditions are a significant risk factor for suicide. SAVE, Suicide Awareness Voice of Education, estimated that around 20% of people who die by suicide have a mental health condition. Some examples of conditions that may contribute to suicidal thoughts or intent include substance abuse disorders, depressive disorders, borderline personality disorder, bipolar disorder, anxiety-based disorders, and psychosis. However, it is important to note that although mental health conditions can increase the risk of suicide, they are also very common. Additionally, according to the UK charity Samaritans, not everyone who considers suicide as a diagnosed mental health condition. One of the examples is social isolation, lack of support, and untreated or mistreated. Mental health conditions place people at higher risk of suicide, while having appropriate access to health care and support lower this risk. What are the warning signs of suicidal person? Some people exhibit warning signs that they are considering suicide. SAV state that it is important to take a notice if someone is talking about wanting to die talking about feeling trapped, feeling hopeless, or being in unbearable pain, talking about being a burden to others, planning or looking for ways to harm themselves, stocking up on medication, or searching online withdrawing from family and friends, using drugs and alcohol more often, eating or sleeping more or less than normal, acting anxious, agitated, or reckless manner and experiencing severe mood shifts. However, not everybody exhibits these warning signs when they are considering suicide. The best way to find out for certain whether or not someone is considering suicide is to talk to them. For example, on 2014 review found that talking about suicide does not increase the risk of it. In fact, it may even decrease the risk by allowing people to share any thoughts and feeling that they are struggling with. Although talking to someone about their thoughts of suicide may feel intrusive, it could save their life. Some examples of ways to start a conversation include How have you been feeling? Do you ever feel so bad you think about suicide? Have you been having suicidal thoughts? What to do if someone is considering suicide? If someone intends to end their own life, it is important to act quickly. First, asking the question. Ask the person if they have a plan to end their life. If so, ask them how and when they plan to do it. Second, calling for help. If a person is an immediate danger, call, go to an emergency room at a hospital or contact the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Third, taking the reason seriously. While talking to the person, do not try to convince them that their problems are not that bad. Instead, listen to them, acknowledge how they feel, and reassure them that it is possible to get help. Fourth, not keeping their plan a secret. Although trust is important, 
Keeping a person's planned method or suicide, a secret can put their life at risk. It is essential to let medical professional or caregivers know how they intend to end their life, so that they can remove any source of dangers. People who consider suicide do not always want to die. Often, people consider suicide because they feel hopeless and cannot think of a way out of their current situation. Intervention can help a person regain a sense of hope or show them another perspective. People can also use this step to help others online. The following social media sites like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, as well as some others. To have ways to report suicidal content. What can we do if we're thinking about suicide? Thinking about suicide is scary. You may have strong feelings that are hard to deal with. You may feel like things will never be better. But you are not alone. Many people think about suicide. Thinking about suicide does not mean that you will do it. It does not mean that you are going crazy. Thinking about suicide is often a sign that you want to escape. There are ways to feel better, remember? You are not alone. You can start by talking to someone else. You can talk to a family member or friend you trust. You can also call crisis line. If you have a doctor or counselor, tell them how you feel. They can teach you skill to deal with thoughts of suicide. 